it. He literally said, hey, man, your mom's dead. She in heaven. But that's a better place where you got to be strong. Son got Nika. Let's dance, son. Bah. Bang. Blood splatter on his face. Oh, my. He looks like Shanks, too. Bro, tell me he doesn't look exactly like Shanks, bro. Oh, tell my. Tell me that's not him, bro. Welcome back, guys. So, Will, these we get you One Piece related content. I'm here with my co-host, Money B. Luffy, six, 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 Canada, Matt in the morning, yo, Howdy Chopper, make some noise for Sexy D Red, <laughs> not Sexy D Red, <laughs> and no show without the, I mean, figure lamb mama, rat alert, rat alert. And as right you can see here, we don't got Afro Sox right here today. We got him off the channel. Let's right. go. Finally, Jesus. Oh, my yeah, goodness. No man. more bad takes. Holy cow. No, no, no. We really don't like the nigga, bro, right? I'm here to replace him today as Money B. Luffy. You know what I mean? He's in a band. But, um... I have predictions, y'all. Well, right. I got I got, I got just, a, just, a, just a tiny bit spoiled. But... Oh. No, 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 not on the whole thing. So, this is fine. I know I've been saying it for the past three chapters, but this chapter, Luffy wakes up, he he beats Kizaru one on one. Bro, I don't care about Kizaru at all, bro. Right <laughs> now, it's all about Jay Garcia Saturn, bro. True. The man's the on the scene. Talking. I'm calling it now. This might be the chapter where we lose a straw hat. It's probably going to be Usopp. Whoa, that is crazy. <laughs> it's probably gonna All be right. Usopp, but you know what? It is what it uh, is. Usopp not even around anywhere. I bro, Usopp got about choked about out by Kizaru like randomly. They're yeah, targeting he's still you, bro. Getting choked out right now. It, right it's now it's today. it's literally a holy war. It's God Usopp versus the demon J. Garcia. Nah, but fuck that. We losing Bonnie, bro. She just stabbed oh, Saturn. He gonna. Oh, honestly, she's she the only one to even touch her. She might get head tapped. She's about to. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, but I freaking hate how. After we do our chapters, I'll be saying like the funniest wild shit. People were saying that Jay Garcia looked like the spider boss from Monsters Inc. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no, he does. Were you talking about the librarian? No, oh, no, no. That, you know the boss, the actual boss that was like, oh, we're gonna oh, like, yeah. steal the kid's screens and like, you know, losing crazy shit. That's definitely what he looks like, though. My prediction is Miyok's gonna come through and teach Gay so like, Garcia who's the best swordsman ever. Yeah, you know. That's money be true. For all we know, there might be a sword in that staff, and we know how Miyok feels about swords. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if you got a weapon and you use two hands, Miyok gonna yeah. take care of you. Any kind of stick like sword like <laughs> weapon, you're on his radar. <laughs> yo, yo, your body stabbed Ga Jay Garcia with the sword, and Jay Garcia survives. He might be a swordsman because he dodged the sword with his heart. No, so it's like, mm. like as we clearly saw, we didn't see any sweat particles from the from the like, exactly. The, the how else would really you how sweat. else would you block a sword attack if you're not a swordsman? Exactly, bro. Like, like he just knew how a sword pierced him, so he just like knew how to move his organs back and forth, right? <laughs> so I definitely think Mihawk is for sure gonna come in this chapter, right? And Joe is gonna be like, Mihawk, I'm sorry that I'm a fraud, a lone gift king. I can't believe it. And Mihawk's gonna be like, you a bitch. And then kill one shot Jay Garcia. All right, man. But it's Conqueror's hockey. All right, man. Like he's not gonna even touch him. You know how Shanks be knocking everybody out with uh, <laughs> like, like with Conqueror's hockey. Jay Garcia is gonna do that, and Miyok's gonna solidify himself as the strongest One Piece character of all time. Interesting, Matt. Uh, uh, so last chapter I said you know Bonnie stabbed Garcia, so we're getting lore, of course, because we were playing. You have to get lore. Afro's idea of, you know, Kuma's coming in, swapping Garcia away. I don't think that's going to happen this chapter, but I think Rally's going to get some lore dumps. Vigapunk going to talk his talk, and that's about it. <laughs> no soap. Uh, oh, he's already go? Yeah, I already said, bro. Usopp's dying. God Usopp versus Jay Garcia the demon. You know that's crazy, bro. I'm, I'm the, big, honest, the biggest right? Usopp fan is preying on his downfall. <laughs> that's, that's... If I'm being honest, though, um, if I had faith in anybody being Jay Garcia, it's Usopp. Because Usopp just has, like, the luckiest character in the world. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. No one's ever gotten more lucky than Usopp in fights. And he's just really smart. Like, who knows? Like, Usopp could make, like, a new gadget that we don't even know about at the moment. Like, he didn't... Usopp didn't go all out on Wano. You know what I mean? There's more Usopp can do that we haven't seen yet. And his hockey's probably stronger than Luffy's. Like, because remember, 
Usopp unlocked advanced observation hockey before Luffy did. So. All right, buddy. And he hasn't used it since. Okay, Usopp doesn't need to. He needs to learn. <laughs> he does. He does Whoa. actually, because because he just got grabbed up by Kizaru. If he if he had activated his hockey, he would have dodged <laughs> hey, it. Yeah. He was going easy, bro. Kizaru is a light speed opponent. All right, that's a formidable opponent. All right, it's, you, bro. Luffy w was getting like tripped out by Kizaru, and so was Usopp. <laughs> so they're both on the same tier because they both got tripped out by Kizaru. Okay, makes sense. Anyways, enough reach piece, bro. Let's get to the chat. <laughs> Yeah, enough reach peace. Whoever said I'm reaching? Shut the heck up, money be Luffy. <laughs> Chapter 10. Yo, what's the matter? Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you're like what? <laughs> he said you were snap. <laughs> A world where you're better off dead. Look at it. It's, it's Yonko. This nigga, this nigga got his nose took in by a monkey, bro. <laughs> I thought it was an apple. <laughs> bro, why is his nose so big? That's his it nose. Does look like that. Is another request? It is. Cover request by Nippy. Buggy chasing a squirrel thing? monkey who swiped his trademark nose. How did Buggy become a Yonko before Usopp? What? Man, that... Bro, he's, he's, he's yapping, bro. He's yapping. <laughs> go to the toes, bro. <laughs> go to the toes, <laughs> say no more. The Robin toes. Yes, sir. And an Oda note. Recently, I found myself tearing up whenever I watch an episode of the One Piece anime. They've really nailed the wondrous and fun aspects of Wano. I'm so grateful for th their fantastic production, bro. Oda is just uh, like me. So sad, bro. Look at, look at Oda praising bro. Toy. Bro, I swear to God, Gear 5 was just a Super Saiyan copy. Bro, get this. Money be Luffy. Who is this suck, guy? Bro. Who, Who is, is he? This guy? <laughs> Yo, who's that? This is what bro, happens when you get banned. This is what happens when you get bands, bro. You just start acting different. Right, bro? You start acting yeah, up, bro. The bands. Listen, I'm only speaking money, all right, man? Y'all speaking brokey. The right, go Oda Sensei. Right now. The go Oda Sensei. He be tearing up watching One Piece, bro. You know what's crazy? No, she'll be lying like he's not part of the King of the Bands crew, bro. We know about your 12-car garage. What are you talking about? And Neighbors with Drake. Oh, He's my God. God. That, that, one, that, one, that one's actually fact. This <laughs> cap, this cap. Don't believe this. But the 10 car garage is true. Oh, there's no there's no cool color spread. I want another color spread. Anyway, end of the chapter. Saint Saturn of the Five Elders has landed. All Marines beneath the ranks of Rear and Vice Admiral are to evacuate the area immediately. Do not look back. Even a peak will not be forgiven. Huh? He's already here. Uh, he's here already, but how? An elder came in person. If I'm a Marine officer, I'm quitting my job. Honestly, you're bro. quitting. Why? I'm not. I, I'm not dealing with this no more. Hypothetically, yeah. could you quit? Yeah. yeah, you can quit. You can quit the Marines. I think. No, I mean, I mean, right now, like after. Oh, you like, this, you know, I don't know. Probably, probably not. not probably not. They, they, they might just murk you right no, you're there. Deep into it. No, you're too deep in. They must have take you yeah. out. I've only ever seen him in portraits. What's with all the lightning? He's even above oh, the bro. celestial dragons, and one of them can boss around an admiral like it's nothing. Why would someone so far up the divine hierarchy come all the way down here from Mary Joas? You think that conquers hockey? Oh, it is. So uh, every, so do you think every all the celestial dragon? I mean, not so. Go and say got conquers hockey. Like, Probably. like that I, makes you know, sense. What I think it is, I th I think what he's doing is like the most advanced form of conquerors, or not advanced, but like destructive form of conquerors hockey, like being able to blow people's heads off. Was that just with his Conqueror's hockey? Yeah, I mean, there's Black Lightning coming from it, isn't it? Like When, when like he blew up the guy's head? I don't know, I just remember his brain chunks all over the place. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but I mean, I, I'm surprised I didn't even say this back then, because I, I even thought this back then, but I think that was, like, with Conqueror's hockey. If he can blow people's brains up with Conqueror's hockey, he really is a demon. I mean, I feel, I feel like I mean, maybe Luffy can do it. It's just, like, why would you? Why would Luffy right? want to Why would you do something so fucked up? But it's like only works out when weak people also. So it's like if you do that, you're bullying. <laughs> Bonnie, you crossed the line. That's Saint Saturn. You stabbed one of the five elders, bro. Who said that? Ooh. I think random people. <laughs> Who's this bro? guy is giant, bro. It's huge. Oh, it's probably the vice admirals. She assaulted one of the world's overseers. All Marines, take aim. <clears throat> Oh, what the fuck? Why are his eyes like that? Bonnie! Stop squirming, you pathetic maggots. Whoa. Whoa. 
if I did not, if if I did not wish to be stabbed, I I would have simply dodged. What? Guys, you just stop right stop here. the inner tracks, bro. bro he's, really? he's glare. Yo, he used to, he used his head blowing up thing on her. Yeah, he did. He shot her, but she didn't. She didn't. I mean, she got. He didn't, he didn't get shot. She got Yo, me. he 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 used his W Riz, bro. He stopped her in her tracks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, 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 that's crazy. W Riz. No, but that's Riz. insane. The admirals are like, we're gonna shoot her, and he's like, bro, shut up. If I didn't want to be stabbed, I I wouldn't have been stabbed. I let her stab me. That's the unspeakable Riz right there. <laughs> that he gripped. Oh no. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Bunny he did the same shot. thing to Sanji, bro. Black. Yeah, he got shot with the laser yeah. beams. Sanji! I didn't, say, I didn't say anything last video. Bro. What, yeah. bro? Someone bring nah, up the... Bro. Someone bring nah, up his 10-minute nah, his, his nah, nah, monologue nah. where he said Sanji was going to one-tap. I am, I am Buddy B. Luffy, bro. Right. Right. Bro, yeah, bro, bro. What, what, bro, what's that one character from Dragon Ball? Like, I forgot who had it. He could, like, he could shoot, like, beams out of his eyes. Or something. Yamcha? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I feel like it was a Namekian, bro. Frieza, Piccolo. It might have been Piccolo. Like this reminds me of that move that Piccolo had where you shot okay, some shit out of his eyes. Like, it's like three characters that could probably like shoot beams out their eyes from Dragon Ball, but yeah. mm. like it was just a random thing they gave to people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think Frieza was able to do it at one time. Oh, yeah, I remember. Bonnie Cha Saji. <laughs> then he pulls the sword out of his Santa Claus beard. Shik, his wound disappeared. Wait, uh, he can he heal got, too. He got no. regen. Is that like ink? That's not blood. That yeah, it doesn't even. I don't even know. No, I think that's the blood healing up, like like it zooping. Like it's like it's like retracting itself into his. Yeah, body. your region is so broken. And then look at Sanji, like, like oh. you know, you know what's crazy? I think that's a genetically modified body. I don't think that's from Devil Fruit power. I think that's from like. like yeah, that's like, what I'm thinking. Like, I'm trying to find like what's the what's his Devil Fruit and what's the demon powers? Because there's gotta be you know like. You know what? You know? Wait, if he's a demon, I think we talked about this or seen this. He's not. Maybe he's not a Devil Fruit power. He's just the original Devil. No, I think I think he still has a devil fruit because of like, but then I, I don't even know because no, you you, remember, you could be right. It could just be fruit? tied to like the origins, you know. No, no, but you know, remember devil fruits are um are, are originally you know their wills of like they're, like they're alive, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a devil fruit that never became a devil fruit. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it, it could be tied to the origin of devil fruits. Like he could just be like, you know, one of one of them one of them wills of the the, the demon seer or whatever. Uh, so okay, Sanji I mean, coughing up blood after he got shot in the face. Uh, she hates them. Keep the pressure up. Get Vegapunk. Wait, you fools. Don't give them an opening. Stay calm. Escape is impossible. If you keep your weapons trained on them. Yes, sir. Why are the Vice Admirals doing whatever they want? They're about to get shot. It's They're not listening. No, they, they can, those can be Commodore. <clears throat> I don't know no. if those are Vice Admirals. I think, I think all Vice Admirals right now are just sta standing still. No uh, way. it's unprecedented for you to be so slow in executing an order like this, Kizaru. He's laid out oh, flat. shit, bro. He's laying down, yeah. bro. Wait, 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 what did Sting Garcia say to Kizaru? He said, it's unprecedented for you to be so slow in executing an order like this, Kizaru. So I'm, I'm guessing he's, um... No. Yeah. What, what order? Garcia say, I know you don't want to kill Vega Punk, bro. You know I guess, saying? yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I have no excuse. I need a second. I don't think I can move just yet. What the hell? What happened? And then he says, given yeah, the circumstances, the... I can understand the disappointment. Basically, he said, yeah, you're too slow, but you were fighting the sun god, so I'll let it slide a little bit. He's just yeah, he's, crazy. He's even a power scaler. Like, I get bro, it. Bro, yeah. Luffy put an admiral on his back, bro. It's over. <laughs> we got a little Luffy too, bro. He's old man. No, but I gotta, I gotta say, it looks like his art wasn't trying. Mm. It looks like he's kind of laughing a little bit, bro. <laughs> No, he, he, no he, Luffy, I just want to say this. I'm not even here to Paris because Luffy's in, like, I don't give a fuck. Luffy's in definitely stronger than Kazaru, no matter what, right? But it's like, Kazaru definitely wasn't trying in that fight. Nah, like, I, I'm for sure on it. He did not want to kill Vega Punk. <clears throat> yeah, because anyway. he loves Vega Punk. It's like his yeah. uncle or something. I bet, I bet that nigga was laxy daisy. Like, like, he was doing everything a second, like, later than he should have, just so Luffy can get that yeah, nigga. That's, that's why he randomly choked up Usopp. It was a random time waste. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you had to take care of who's up, bro. Just, uh, just like we're in, like to act dumb, bro. Like we're in big because he should have, like, realistically speaking, I feel, like, I feel like, and this might be a flaw with the plot, right? If, if like, if Edo has hockey that's able to see around the whole area like that, I feel like Kazawa should have some shit like that. I think yeah, but we, we said that for a lot of people, though, right? Where we're like, I remember yeah, we were saying that for Garp, like, bro, where was your freaking observation hockey when Shiryu was stabbed him, <laughs> or when Shiryu no, did no, stuff? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about like being able to see your surroundings and moving as fast as that. <laughs> Like, 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 cause you know, I was able to move that fast, like around the island because of his devil fruit. I think his has the same excuse also. But yeah, yeah. is that how it works though? Like, I feel like just because you have a devil fruit that's super fast, does that mean your brain and eyes is like also like <clears throat> can can keep up with that speed? I mean, I don't. I mean, with that, with the help of hockey, probably. Mm. Island. And I don't was literally just teleporting around, uh, whatever that fucking thing was that time, bro. Yeah. And he was able, remember, he was able to, like, just strike Nick. I'm not saying Kazaru has the ability to strike Nick like that, but I feel like Kazaru might have the ability to be able to, like, that bounce anywhere he really wants to be mm. with the light reflection and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not saying, I'm, before I want to say this, I want to make sure I pad it before we continue. I am not saying he grabbed Usopp as an excuse to act dumb, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm not saying that. But when are we? That. When are we gonna stop giving Abbas the excuse of not trying? They should be I'm trying 100 percent all the time. I'm not. I'm not giving. I'm not giving. <clears throat> I'm not giving him an excuse right now because Luffy's indefinitely stronger than him, no matter what. Like narratively wise, why would Luffy be weaker than the Admiral right now after beating Kaido? That would just make no sense. Kaido. The only Admiral that makes sense that's stronger than Luffy's are Kainu. That's the only Admiral that makes sense of right now. But like everybody else is not. And I don't even think our Kainu is Luffy's level. Like, that's hard to picture, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even see that. I'm just saying, I don't think this was, like, a like a full-on one-on-one, but I feel it. Man, I don't care about this, I'm, I'm looking at say Sarah. You better stomp Luffy. Now then, stomp. Strong right. It was Frankie. Oh, shit. Hold on. W punched, Frankie, bro. bro. He punched me, bro. He, yo, you need, yo. He punched yo, Luffy the way. How is Frankie showing up in here now, bro? Okay, it's, it's, time. it's time for the Frankie... One on one, the Frankie yeah. stocks are rising. I can see them in my head. Guaha, grab, interesting. So you're the kind of pirates who stick together. Ha ha. So even the biggest big shot in the world is after our captain's head. Good to know. Oh, you said the biggest bitch in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, the biggest big shots in the world. We really punched Luffy, grabbed him, straha Luffy, jewelry Bonnie. Your involvement in this affair was certainly unforeseen. However, the costs have been completely blockaded by our army, or the coasts have been completely blockaded by our army. It would be something to see you escape from such a hopeless situation. We shall see what fate has in store for you. Vegapunk, your betrayal is a heavy blow. I am grateful for all you have accomplished for the Navy during your tenure. Mm. Now, which one of you is to die first? Tell me the cruelest order possible. I want you to die cursing yourself for daring to cross the world government. Bro, who's who stepped up? Bro, why, why, why? He keeps crying. Oh my god. No one stepped up. Human nature yeah. is to blame. Why must people yeah. always be tempted by that which has been explicitly forbidden? <laughs> Wait, stop! Bro, he's killing her. Bro, Sanji, tee the fuck up before Kuma gets here, bro. All right, bro, take him or something. Flip your, flip your eyebrows. <laughs> bro, Not the eyebrows. Bro, bro nigga destroyed the Jerma thing, 6-6 six, six thing too fast, bro. Nah, turn the robot bo- Turn the robot mode on. Why is there anybody doing anything? I can't. It's like something's pinning me down. If he, if he isn't using technology, it must be some sort of devil fruit ability. Oh, is it the weird, like, these weird flame things that are pushing them down? I think it's his aura, maybe. I don't know. No, but you, you see the, the, the weird little all. swirls. Yeah, no, it's definitely Devil Fruit, though, because Vegapunk would have said hockey. Saturn, you killed my father. And he's like, what the... What? Oh, Saturn did it? Ah, you're talking about Kuma. He was born to be a slave. A descendant of people who committed a grave sin against the world. A survivor of the now extinct Buccaneer race? There's okay, a so, new so this race. race, race, race <laughs> okay, we got a new race, which is cool, but um, 
I, I'm not even trying to pursue it out, but I guess we're we're finally finding out who are the people that stood up against the world government now. Yeah, like the people. I'm yeah. guessing the people that stood with Lily, right? The king must be a part of those people. All stood up the Lunarians, yeah, they they, they probably were. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. Fucking here, so I wonder if he's gonna <clears throat> give us like a description. Bonnie, when I was a boy, I wanted to be a hero. Someone who can save people from suffering and grab them their freedom. Okay, bro, the setup is happening. Kuma about to pop in. It's about to be the craziest panel bro, ever. If I, bro, Listen, Bonnie gets shot, when gets Kuma, pops in, when Kuma pops in, all I'm saying is, I need my credit for predicting this like months ago, bro. I predicted this. What do you months mean, ago, bro? bro? You're, you're, you're not Opera Soccer. You're money be losing. You didn't predict nothing. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I didn't predict it. Yeah, my <laughs> fault. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Bring back Afro Samurai. Afro Sakura is off the channel right now, bro. <laughs> Just like the legendary warrior of liberation, Nika. Damn, he was a Nika stand too? Yeah, it looks like. I, I, I guess everybody what? was a Nika stand, bro. What am I looking? They're doing the pose. Doing right? The All troops aim for her head? Nika? That's right. I've always looked up to him. They say Nika would always come along laughing to his rhythm. Don do toto, don do toto. Look, look at them dancing, bro. Nah, the buggineers and the and the Nikas are yeah. vibing together. The Nikas, I'm sorry. The, the Nikas and the buggineers. <laughs> the buggineers and the Nikas. What else? What else are they called, bro? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's only one dude that that has the Nika Nika moment. Bro, look at this guy, Sanji. Bonnie Chan, all of you knock it off. Stop. She's just a kid. She's just a boy. Poor little fella. So, am I going to be free too? Of course. Was Bonnie a slave too? 47 years ago. What the fuck? Jesus. 47 really? years ago in the South Blue, the Kingdom of Sorbet. Was, it was the Pirate King. Back. Well, not the Pirate King, but like up there. Right, right, right. Wait. So, Congratulations. What a big boy. Ah, I'm so glad to finally meet you. Hello, Kuma. Look at that nigga's hands, bro. Right? Jesus. Uh, excuse me, Doc. His blood, right? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> ah! What a cheerful baby. I'm so sorry, Clap. You've got to run. There are government agents in the hospital. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. Just take me. I'm the one with the bucket ear blood. What the hell? If his dad was a slave, too. Yeah. Oh, they beat the shit out of him. My wife is normal. Please let her and my son go. I beg you. It'll all, it's okay. It'll all be okay. Damn. Damn. All this? They beat the shit out of his dad. He's smiling, chained up. The mom is still changed up. They used nah, to turn, crazy, huh? crazy, bro. Because, like, they wouldn't know he had buccaneer blood until he had a kid. Hey. And then that nigga's huge, bro. There's no way. How? how what the? Okay, hell? They should have been business. He could have been a giant, though. That's the thing. Bro, bro, you, know, bro, you, bro, you know what One Piece is. There's so many different fucking looks of One Piece. Bro. Actually, you're right. You're right. You're right. There are yeah. random people who are just like 12 feet tall. That, that, is, that is true. I mean, there's probably a lot of like mutts, though. There's probably a lot of mixed breeds yeah. out there. And you got literal like fucking monkey humans, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even over exaggerating. When yeah, I'm like freaking that. Nolan's descendants, right? Yeah. Oh, they're not Nolan's. Well, descendants. no, no, yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean. The people that are hanging with them. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna lie, that's crazy having Dick Riders off a of descendant. This yeah. mongrel is a buccaneer. Wow, look at his power. It's so young. Why are you so slow? That hurts. I'm sorry. Why? Stop crying. Do you want to die? Jesus. Hey, Kuba. How you holding up, son? Fine, Daddy. Master's so kind to me. I'm very lucky. <laughs> nah, Master. Oh, no. Master. Master's, Master's so good so to nice me. To <laughs> I have something to tell you. Mommy has passed away and gone to heaven. Isn't that wonderful? She's in a better place now. I've been forgetting yeah. one piece of depressing this house sometimes. Bro, this shit is so sad. Bro. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> N niggas, niggas, like, where's the serious moment in the fight? Right? <laughs> right, bro. Yeah, yo. This oh crazy. my god, that's so. You know, it was crazy. Kaido would have probably used like get better and fight for yourself, bro. That's kind of logic right now. Kaido would have been like, "Stop being a bitch and break out your chains, bro." Kaido yeah. would have been like, "I'm killing every celestial dragon that I come across now." 
No, that's sad though, bro. Really, I mean, I'm honestly being in being dead probably is better than being a slave. Saying this, bro, no. bro, this is the anime is gonna be so sad, bro. right, bro? Look, bro, look at me cry. But Man. Kuma, you're strong. You can survive this. You must be brave and bear it for me. But why? Isn't death so much easier? The warrior of liberation will come and save you. Oh, it is from Bonnie's perspective, because Bonnie, Bonnie. Yeah, I'm still telling the memories that she saw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that's sun that's god that's Nika. That name has been passed down through buccaneer folklore for generations. Nika will come and take you out to sea, where you'll be under the sun and free. Nika bars. Nika always smiles. Yeah, okay. And the people never fail to laugh when he when they hear his drum beat. Dun dun toto dun dun toto dun. Ah ha ha! Bang! No! 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 Bro, it was out of she was just talking that shot. That nigga was just dancing, bro. Shut that up already! Did he die? Yeah, bro, his body is right there. What you mean, bro? We haven't seen this. Let's see the next panel. He's his fine, dad, bro. his blood is... Oh. What you mean, bro? He's fine, bro. He's not... <laughs> fine. His, his mom... Bro. Hey, he literally said, hey, man, your mom's dead. She in heaven. But that's a better place where you gotta be strong. Son got Nika. Let's dance, son. Bah. Bang. Blood splatter on his face. 38 years ago, the West Blue. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. Remember, this event only takes place once every three years. Don't miss your chance to take part in this native cleansing festival. Genocide? Literally. The venue chosen this time is the non-government affiliated country? Or is this not affiliated country? They call it God Valley! God Valley? Oh, shit. Whoa! This blasphemous name was given to the island as it has an abundance of natural resources. The world government has just annexed this land so it can be our traditional... Human hunts? It can be the site of our traditional human hunts? How selfish can you be? You want to slaughter our citizens for sport? Have you lost your mind? This is our country. My lord! Bye! Oh, they on go. Whose hair is that? Wait, I think this is what I saw. Whose hair is that? Yeah, my lord. No. Oh my, he looks like Shanks too. Bro, tell me he doesn't look exactly like Shanks, bro. Oh tell my, me that's not him, bro. Hold your horses, Saint Garling. You've gone and started before the buzzer. Wow, that's crazy. In a shocking twist, the king of natives has already been slain. As a penalty for starting the hunt early, St. Garling shall be docked 10,000 points. What a blow for one of the predicted frontrunners. You know, you know what's crazy? Nah. Wait, you you look so sick. I'm not going to lie. Did you just call him the king Andrew? of natives? No, 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 no the guy that got shot. Or sliced. We gotta see what's, we're going to see what happened at God Valley. We're going to. And you know why I noticed too? The anime built up to it. I, I feel like anime is building up to manga shit. The fact that they had the Kaido backstory right before this chapter with adding more context to the nigga telling, like, with the rocks going up to Kaido and be like, Kaido, we're going to God Valley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got to see what's happening next chapter, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Damn, Kuma's backstory is gonna be so fuck. Might be bigger than Odin's, bro. It might be bigger than Odin's, but yeah, I can do it. I, can do it, I, can do it. I need a handicap like, uh, like that to keep things interesting. To spruce up the okay, hold on. God's nice, say gar, say figuring garling. To spruce up so the proceedings, we have uh, arranged to add some additional game to be hunted down alongside the natives. These slaves are all notorious troublemakers and sinners. Once they've, uh, once they're released, we'll chase them down like wild beasts. Okay, and then Garcia's there, sir. We just got word they tracked down the child who tried to escape. It was the buccaneer brat. Okay, I was gonna say this though. I definitely believe uh, uh, Figurland gave gave um, gave Whitebeard a scar. I I I'll put in ten. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You did. 
Yeah. Mm. Like, it's not even like like Oda might have been inconsistent with Whitebeard Scar, and I can 100 percent agree with that because there's times where he has it, and there's times where he doesn't have it. But I, I'm sorry, bro. You're kind of building up Figurland to be this op ass nigga right now. Yeah, and like, like we the fact that we saw him young and old is kind of insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, trying to run away. How selfish can you get? They put us into groups of 10 for collective punishment, you know. If you got away, the rest of us would have been killed. Young Ivanka? He oh, mm. hey, made up. So you are the star of the this farce. A buccaneer. No wonder. You carry the blood of the giants in you. Bro, why does Kuma look like uh. that? <laughs> slave Jenny. Slave Imperial Ivanka. They were both slaves? Damn. Big bro here is pretty big himself, don't you think? The only thing big about me is my head. Not. Now listen, you morons. Why do you all have hopeless looks glued to your faces? I, for one, want to live. Well, what are you going to do? Okay, I want to say... Bro, hey, bro, bro, Ivankov was a revolutionary since a jerk, bro. She, yeah, they, okay. they had it in their blood. Everybody's saying Ginny is um, Luffy's mom. What the frick? I mean, hey man, the that'd be interesting. Revolutionary, revolutionary, revolutionary. So, who knows? Meeting an unexpected duo in this hellish existence. Chapter ten ninety five. Break next week. No, I can't, bro. It's funny because one of the leakers got this wrong, and everybody was so excited it wasn't gonna be a break. But... Nah, this is a break next week. Nah, this is a crazy chapter. This chapter was amazing. This chapter was I, I, I love more dumb chapters. Sad. I love them so much. Like, there's Even so the much ice, to go over. The ice cream was died, bro, in two seconds, man. Right? Bro was just singing the little song, and he said, shut the heck up. All right, so. From the, like, look at me scrolling. I'm, there's so many things that happened. Okay, so we started off with the navies. They're screaming because they're like, we got to look away. I've never seen a, a Gorosei before. He's here. Giant as hell. Spider. Everyone's yelling. They're like, we're going to shoot. And he says, shut up, bro. If I, if I wanted to be stabbed, it's because I willed it. Grabs Bonnie. Sanji gets head tapped. He has regen abilities. I already forgot he had regen abilities because for all the crazy backstory. Uh... They're rounding up. He's cooking Kizaru. Okay, but he said it's okay. You were fighting the Sun God. About to stomp Luffy. Frankie with the W save. Hit the push and then command grab. Command grab. Uh, Dialogue from, from Spider Dude saying, y'all fucked up. Or you're surrounded. Vegapunk, you're cooked. He's squishing freaking Bonnie. About to kill her. They can't move for because whatever mysterious power, whether it be double fruit power, hockey, or some just kind of some demon energy, who knows? And then the flashback. Oh my god, bro! Does it go straight into it? Literally, bro. It's just, just they're about to, they're about to blow her up. Look at them dancing, bro. Talking about the sun god and everything. This was so insane. So that's his, that was Akuma's parents in this sorbet. So he wasn't even, he wasn't even his royalty. How did, how did Bonnie, well, I guess if it's a dead kingdom, I guess they could just claim to be the queen or whatever. He's born, they get locked up instantly. Slaves, mom dies, sings about Nika, gets clapped. Freaking human hunt genocide. Which is crazy. Oh yeah, that is interesting because like if he was if Kuma wasn't born as royalty, that means like like I'm assuming after he got freed by Ivanka, he went back to his kingdom to try to like yeah. I don't did, know, didn't they call him the the what, the cruel emperor the yeah the the tyrannical king yeah so maybe he did go back then sp spun the block damn um yeah the freaking Hunger Games not even Hunger Games but it's just freaking honey people for sport. At God Valley, freaking figuring. And then Shanks' father finally revealed. Right. And the fact that we saw Ivanka up here is so crazy, too. Bro, what a packed chapter. Bro, so wait, are Buccaneers just giants then? 
No, he uh, doesn't. they have. They said they have no, giant I, I blood. Think, I think there's a combination. Yeah, because it says you carry yeah, yeah, the blood probably of giants like, in you. They're probably like cousins, like cousins to the giants, or mm. something like that. Yeah, because I'm trying to think. There has to be some like distinction, right? Otherwise, they would have just called him a giant. They wouldn't have said, "Oh, you're like it." It would be a whole species, different race, right? Yeah. I wonder if they, okay, what is what what is a buccaneer even like? Just just definition. It's, it's like a it, it's it's like a like a synonym for pirate, basically like a ravager or mm. a pillager. Yeah, buccaneer, English, French, or Dutch sea adventurer who hunted chiefly the Caribbean and the Pacific seaboard of South America, preying on Spanish settlements and shipping during the second half of the seventeenth century. What is a buccaneer versus a pirate? Buccaneers are usually distinguished from pirates because they rarely had valid commissions. They also distinguish from pirates who attack ships of all nations. So maybe 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 they were they called them buccaneers because they maybe they were like one of the first people to actually like do physical violence against the world government. Maybe. Like, so, something like, like I, I think we're probably well, I'm not gonna say we're probably right, but it's probably closer to what we were thinking earlier that. Or just one of the races that was working with Lily, or, or maybe not even worked with Lily, but they betrayed the, uh, yeah, the early world government the same way Lily did, and that's why they're mm-hmm. being cast out and hunted down. But damn, bro, I'm still I'm still like astonished by by Saturn's powers, bro. Like he he might be like, he's overpowered as fuck, right? If, that... he, if he can stop people in their tracks just by looking at them. The fact that he can blow people's heads up if they're if they're kind of weak. The fact that he has where where was the regen, bro? The fact that he can regenerate wounds and yeah, just pin people down. Cause he who, who did he have pinned down? He I had anybody, I know I'm a, i think anybody who conquers hockey can blow people's heads off. It's just like why would you want to? You think so? But that's just such mm-hmm. a crazy thing, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, feel, I, I feel like if you're able to do that, we would have like seen it. We would have seen like Dolph Flamingo. Oh, yeah, really strong Congress. Like, okay, Dolph Flamingo. Uh, if anybody that Congress hockey that would do it, it's probably be Dolph Flamingo. You know what I mean? So I was like, you have to be strong. But I feel like Kato could blow people's head off if he wanted to. Yeah, but it's crazy because it's like Kato's an evil guy, but I don't <laughs> think he'd be evil enough to blow somebody's head off, right? Or Big Mom, but it, no, I don't even think it's like okay, maybe it is an evil thing, but I don't think we just been in a scenario where we saw Kato look at a bunch of civilians and was like, I'm gonna blow your heads yeah, off. Or Big yeah, yeah. I mean, because look, like the fact that Conqueror's Hockey can knock people out, that's already insane. So if you can make someone unconscious, it, 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 I wouldn't be surprised you could blow somebody's brains out. Yeah, but it's yeah, just exactly. seeing it, it's just it's just such a like a wild action that you know, you wouldn't think anybody would just be like, bro, let me blow, let me see if I can blow his brains up. You know, like who who would really cross that line aside from a freaking spider demon? <laughs> so is it is it so? Did they did like the higher up Marines know about this transformation? Because as soon as they did it, they told all of the lower ranks to to don't look at it to avert your eyes. So, oh, they, assuming, so yeah, that mean that they that they knew about it, or yeah. they knew that he had this ability. I, I think I think they had to, yeah, because they they said it last chapter, but they even mentioned it early in this chapter too, where he said, um, uh, say Saturday the five others have landed, all Marines beneath the rank of rear or vice admiral are to evacuate the area. So I feel like you have to be a you just got to be a certain rank to know, and yeah, the fact that some Marines were even saying, oh, th- th- screw the fact that he's in this form. They're like, we haven't we've never even seen him in person. We've only seen him in portraits. Yeah, they're like they've, they've, they've only seen pictures of him. They mm-hmm. haven't even seen him. So the gravity is that uh, was kind of crazy. Which makes me, which makes you think, like, if it's just rear, uh, what was it? They said if you're lower than rear vice admiral, how many yeah. rear vice admirals up are there then? It has to be like a small group for them to know about, like some crazy shit like this, right? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I think th- there probably are more like. Rear ammos and vice ammos, like it's probably less and less as you go up higher, in, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we've seen like like we've seen a few vice ammos. This um, yeah, we've seen that we that we've that we've never heard of before. Yeah. Good lord. I would, I would have to go on the weekend and see. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many names of the we know. Yeah. Not really at a point, right? 
Damn, you think Wanda's gonna die? Because realistically, who's gonna who's gonna stop? Everybody's gonna die. No, yeah, do y'all do think she's gonna die? Because right now, she's gripped up. They got the guns on her. Freaking everybody else is pinned down. No, nah, Bonnie can't mm, die. I don't know. Probably, I, I, I'm probably not. If I had to bet on something, I would say no. Because I think, I think she still has like some stuff to evolve with Kuma, and I feel, I feel like, I feel like he, he's gonna get saved, or Kuma's gonna come save her, and then Kuma's gonna die. Like if anyone's gonna die, it's Kuma. Yeah, it's Kuma. Kuma's gone, bro. Bonnie, Bonnie has unfinished business. Like if if, if, if Bonnie died, if Bonnie died and Kuma lived, that'd be that very surprising to me. Remember, remember, this is the Bonnie backstory though, because this is from Bonnie's memories. Mm-hmm. So it's Bonnie. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like it feels like Kuma's, but it's actually coming from Bonnie's memory right now, which is crazy. So we're about to see what Saint Garcia did to Kuma, but I feel like we gotta wait then. We gotta oh wait, but it's God. like they're covering ever since he was a kid, so. I think we're might gonna get a five chapter Kuma back. Right? Yeah, because I was gonna say if it if it started for him being born, how long is this flashlight gonna be, bro? Like three, three chapters, maybe. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be um it's gonna be on the vibes of Odin, where it goes from like him and Wano to him joining Roger to him joining Whitebeard. Who, who knows? Who knows? I might I might I might <laughs> flash back and forth, right? And, and like like from shit. But it's like, ah, why would they drop this and have them fight in the next chapter? I'd rather yeah, that'd be, that'd be weird. That'd be I'd weird. rather them just yeah go just go complete for full backstory flashback. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're probably gonna see Kuma meeting Dragon, dude. You think Dragon is another slave? If Dragon was on God Valley, that'd be crazy. I mean, it's possible. It will line up. He could have yeah, been another okay. slave. Every important person in in the New World has been to God Valley. Or was that, or not been to God Valley, but was that the God Valley incident? Damn. That is true. Kaido was there, Big Mom was there, Whitebeard was there, Roger was there, Garp, Rox. Kuma, Ivanka, whoever the Jenny person is. No, Mayor. <laughs> That's Luffy's mom, bro. I don't know, bro. Why, because she's eating meat? I'm yeah. T- <laughs> you know Honestly, what? I can, I, can, I can see it, bro. I can see Luffy's mom being a slave. But no, it's not the fact that she's asleep. She's, I don't know, bro. Okay, that, that that definitely came out kind of weird, but like it, 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 would, it would follow narratively, is what I'm saying. I, I, I can see Luke. I can see her being a slave. Wait, no, but I feel like why would wait that would that make sense though? Because Garp works for the Marines. But Gar Garp is dragon. Garp is dragons. Oh, not, not, not his mom's dad. Oh yeah, that's you're right. So Dragon's not a slave. Dragon's coming here to save this. Oh yeah, dra- oh yeah. If, yeah. Dragon Wait. is here, but he's a if young Dragon marine. was a slave. That would be weird. Not calling it not Dragon. Dragon. If, if, if his dad was a respected marine. If Dragon's because we, but here's the thing. Even though Dragon <laughs> is has, have they ever called Dragon a pirate, or they just make sure to always make him a revolutionary? I don't, like think, I don't think they've ever called him a pirate. No, yeah, I think they've always they've always called him a revolutionary or a terrorist. Wait, so these are the, these these are the events before the actual God Valley War or the battle. Yeah, yeah. So that before. means like Saint Saturn had to have fought with Roger and them, or like against Roger. Uh, most likely, yeah. Because he was talking about earlier. Oh, you guys are the type of pirates that work together, and that's I only uh think back to Roger because. I feel like Roger is the type of pirate to work together. So he's like, oh, I see. Yeah, I where, seen did, where did he say that? Hold on. He's like, oh, I've seen your type before. It was when Frankie did the command grab. Yeah. Interesting. So you're the kind of pirates who stick together. <clears throat> so I feel like he had to fight on God Valley. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Well, so when did the God Valley incident happen? Because how old is Kuma compared to like? Roger and them when they were fighting. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, when did God this was a uh, thirty-eight years ago in the West Blue. Thirty-eight years ago. And Kuma's was probably like here. He's probably like 38, 38, 38. Yeah. Oh, so what happened this year? Or so yeah, this this is right before the God Valley War, because I also remember Ro- Roger like freeing slaves with Garp. Damn, 
This is 38. We're about to see God of Valley. We're about to see God of Valley. About his well, here, here it is. Mm, bro, you think we've seen God Valley is a break next week? What are you talking about? Wait, wait. Bro, we're about to see God because it's 38 how, years. How old is Roger here? I mean, not Roger, Dragon. Dragon, uh, not... Dragon would have to be like 20. Wait, not, no. He'd, ha he'd have to be like in his right. teens, right? No, Dragon's 55. So it's 55. Yeah, like in his teens. 55 minus 38. 17. Damn. I'm telling yeah. you, bro. Is right now, slave? Dragon is a young Marine. No, Dragon's not a slave. Why, why would it? Why would a young Marine? Yo, yeah, that I, I think Dragon is if a young they, Marine. After we see Dragon in a Marine costume, bro. Because well, if Dragon Garp is here, that would and, and if if we're saying all the important people are here and Garp is here, it makes sense that Dragon is a Marine, and then and maybe Garp, maybe remember, it was Garp, maybe it was the God Garp, Valley incident that made him become a terrorist. And no, and Garp and Garp need. Oh. It is because the reason why Garp needed fucking Roger's help was to, you know, what if Garp needed Roger's help? So Garp beats Rocks and Roger protects the citizens, bro. Mm. So, so, like, he pulled a fast one on the Celestial Dragons, freeing some slaves by accident or some shit. And Dragon was like, you know, I'm gonna have, no, fuck Garp after that because he saw Garp protect the Celestial Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, "How could you, Dad?" We're that that, that would that would be that would be so like, amazing. I think he, like like Dragon's looking at Garp like you're a fraud. Because <laughs> that that would make so much sense if like if Dragon was actually actually wanted to be a Marine before this, yeah. and this is the event that radicalized him. Be, which which you know. it, it lines up with what we know about Garp. Oh, Garp is the, Garp is the worst Marine trainer, bro. And then Yvonne, and then Yvonne comes like, look, okay, Vince, like, 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 Dragon. Yeah, imagine Dragon's trying to do the job as a Marine, and Garp's like, bro, not Garp, um, Yvonne comes like, bro, you know this shit's whack, bro. You know and then Yvonne call, bro, Ivankov's influence might be, like, one of the greatest events to ever happen in One Piece. Yeah, yeah. Like, as Ivanka, soon as I saw Ivankov here, I was like, the, 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 the puzzle pieces are all connected in my head right now. Yeah, Ivanka, Ivanka, Smoke, Ivanka, is Smoke and Dragon's age? But that's but that's why Ivanka was so like distraught at Kuma because even Ivanka doesn't even know what's going on with Kuma. Like Kuma was doing this on his own. It's, what if Kuma just knew Luffy was Joy Boy this whole time, bro? He can feel That'd it. That'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure Kuma might know what the Devil Fruit is. I mean, who? I might be tripping, but who knows? But still, that shit's crazy, bro. My money tallest Bartholomew Kuma. Damn. Nah, this chapter was so good. We weren't. This I chapter was amazing, bro. The the, the puzzle pieces are all shit. connecting in my head. Right. Uh, Ivanka, Ivanka, a kid Ivanka being there is crazy, man. Say, bro. Uh, why do y'all have? So Ivanka people? must be like a special race too, then. What's up? Ivanka must be like a special race too, then. Maybe because their, their proportions are also fucked up. Like yeah, their head is big as fuck. Even Jenny was yeah, like big bro here, big himself. No, nah, no, nah, no. I don't think they're special races. I think um they're from kingdoms that uh defy the world government. I feel like uh, I think the God Valley incident was um genociding all the kingdoms that officially like officially genociding all the kingdoms that like anybody that defied the world government. This was the complete genocide. Damn. Wait, what if Ki uh, Yo Kaido found King Don God Valley? We 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 already know um. Where where Kaido found kid found did he, King. Did he find him in a lab? Yeah, he found yeah, him he, in like a lab. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. At Punk Hazard. Was it at Punk Hazard? It yeah, might have been. Yeah, yeah. he found. You know, you know, uh, King first met Kaido thirty years ago. So this is after God Valley. Mm. So Kaido, so King might have was a baby during this happening. How do you, how do y'all think a uh, a uh, Garling plays into this Saint Figurin? He yo, he fights Whitebeard. Yeah, that's so crazy, bro. Freaking Shanks. Oh wait, so he looks exactly, bro. That has to be on purpose, bro. He looks just like him. Nah, yeah, it's. I don't know if it's Shanks' dad, but it has to be someone related to Shanks. Wait, so it is this also was the God Valley incident where they also found Shanks in the chest? Yes. Wait, wait. No. I don't remember. 
Because that's how Roger found him, right? He was a, there was a baby yeah, in a fucking him like, in like yeah, a fucking a treasure chest. Wait, wait, how old is Shanks? Shanks like thirty, late thirties. One piece. He's thirty nine. Ooh. Ooh. So he, he could have been one years old, yeah. One year old baby Shanks. And while the chaos was happening, one of the celestial dragons was like, "Let me put my baby in the chest, and then hope they survive somehow." No, Fucking, no, I don't, okay, I don't know why Figurland has his kid in a chest, bro. Yeah. No, okay, look, because all the God Valley shit's happening, people are fighting, the Celestial Dragons are freaking out because they're like, oh my god, we're gonna die. What and one of them puts why, their baby wait, in the chest. What if that's why Shanks never wanted to become Pirate King? Because he would be like, it would be fucked up for a Celestial Dragon to become Pirate King. It's possible. Maybe. No, but, no, I, I no. What if it could, it could be like, like, like Noso said, it's a Superman what, situation. What if the treasure of God at Valley was like the best soldier in the world to protect your kingdom, and that was Shanks? <laughs> that it's just a baby. That's, that's 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 funny, huh? No, but no, so, but so like, Shanks, so Shanks is Captain America. No, 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 like, and, and no, in a sense, because it's like you get to breed this fucking soldier from the ground up, like, 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 um. Like the heights of being as strong as Figurland, right? Mm -hmm. Hypothetically, right? And that's like that's the prize this year. Damn. But would the Figurelands well, give up one of their kids as a prize? Wait, but so he is he is fighting for his own kid as a prize? That 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 was <laughs> that, that's, cares, that's insane. I know. I feel like he's he's definitely the kind of person that wouldn't care, but it's it'd be such a crazy <laughs> thing to fight for his own child as the prize of the competition. They're saying yeah. Whitebeard's a buccaneer. <laughs> Whitebeard's a buccaneer? I don't agree with that. They're saying Morley, too. I'm telling you, man. See? What's the difference between Morley, Morley and Morley. Giant, bro? I don't think Whitebeard's a buccaneer. I think Whitebeard is a... I think one beard, Whitebeard could definitely be a giant variation. Maybe he is a buccaneer. I don't know. Man, <laughs> I, I, would, I, I, would, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea, but I don't know. I feel like... I feel like Whitebeard wouldn't know if he was a Buccaneer. Yeah, I'm not trying to fill my head on, like, you know, just trying to, like, I guess fill up any gaps with just, like, Buccaneer, Buccaneer, Buccaneer. At least not yet, you know? I feel like Whitebeard could definitely be, like, a race that's part giant. Mm -hmm. Whitebeard, Whitebeard's great-grandma had a one-night stand with a giant. That's, that's you know, about as far as it goes. You know who is a... Maybe maybe Big Mom was a genetic mutation that became a Buccaneer. Maybe. That became a Buccaneer? Yeah. Hmm. Not bad though. Not bad. Uh, um, what would be races that we don't know about though? I don't know. I guess you're gonna. There's probably a like, bunch more, honestly. I feel like we're gonna see Lunarians die here. <laughs> Not the Lunarians. Maybe maybe they find a king here in the in the, in the world government. That would be crazy. But yeah, no. Um... All right. Anything else? I'm, I'm convinced he's Shanks done. Yeah, no, That's gotta, all I got from the content. Gotta check the stocks out for today, bro. There's no stocks. Bro. Very odd. What do you mean? Put my stocks down. He, he was a slave. <laughs> what the hell do you mean, bro? What the hell? So these are oh. the stocks today. We got Frankie. We got Bonnie. Yes, sir, bro. I love seeing Frankie stuff. Why, why don't we have a fucking dragon? Dragon shouldn't even be here. But Revolutionary info, bro. Okay, but what? What does that have to do with dragon? <laughs> If anything, if Vanko should be where Dragon is. That's what I'm saying, bro. Vanko Baxter. But Frankie, right. 100%. Save me from Saturn. W. Uh, Bonnie, I dipped by Saturn. Is that what we're calling you? I you dipped? Know, I dipped is so fucking it's, funny. That's insane. <laughs> a part of a strong... Oh, I guess that makes her part Buccaneer too, right? So we don't know yet. She could be adopted. Oh, that's right. Damn. Kuma stocks are up apparently. I don't know how, but he was a slave, but he was getting whipped. What? <laughs> Realistically, look like, and it's not even his fault. Nah, never Bro, mind. Survive, never mind. Talk to your Yeah, yeah. Surviving all that travesty. Yeah, no, you already dug a grave. You already dug Bro, a grave. I was a... all that travesty just to get your stocks dropped. Is he? I was about to say. He just said he was useless because he was a slave. I was so about to say. Drop. His stocks are down because he's a slave. His mom died, and his dad got killed in front of him. 
What, bro? How's that his fault? Yeah, none of that is his fault. And he's and he's still stand on business, bro. Yeah, he's still standing on business, bro. I'm in the army. I stand on business. And then this is just fraud, bro. This is just dragon dick riding, bro. I don't know. That is dragon dick riding. A Valka boy standing there like a one man army. That's what it was. Yeah, that's the Valka was uh, definitely standing on business. This 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 pose right here called his own. I stand on business, man. Yeah, a Valka is gonna be like, we made this broke nigga famous. (laughs) 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 Oh my god. Yeah, w- w- Ivankov w- 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 is Rock Nation, bro. I can't believe it's a break next week, Odo, bro. Odo really be dropping the craziest stuff before breaks. Like, I've been bangers and then like sight break. He said, "Think on it." Yeah. <laughs> Yo, broke niggas life. He yeah. said, "I'm gonna I'm let it marinate for a second. Yeah, he really be forcing you to think about it for a whole week just to get a new chapter. Be like, all right, now that you stewed for a bit, here's some new information. Oh. They, 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 they know we're gonna watch the anime reaction, so they just want to chill on us, bro. Because we're gonna see the Green Bull like take oh, out. Oh, true. Is it, it? Are we actually seeing Green Bull this week? Maybe. Let's go. Can, can, they can't wait to see him get packed up. Yeah, Kyle Kyle should be a the guy and who he's voiced. So I'm, I'm excited to hear him in the anime. Yeah. Well. Well. All right. Do we got any any else? final thoughts? Closing who's comments. Mom? One last skim, just scroll down. See any pants we want to look at? Um, any narratives that we want to push? <laughs> we want to push. Uh, Outside of Kuro being a slave, putting his socks out. Oh, I guess the kingdom being interesting. Oh, God Valley being like the most resourceful, like like island. That's interesting. Yeah, because the uh, well, what did he say? He said that this blasphemous name, and I guess they say blasphemous because they think <clears throat> they're gods, right? And it's abundance of natural resources. Oh, God must have made that. Yeah. So. At first, I thought it was named God Valley because, you know, the, the natives were, like, related to the Celestial Dragon somehow, but I guess not. No, no yeah. maybe no, no, maybe God Valley was made uh, because it was a gift from God, like, to uh, for the people in the world. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, yeah. Like, like, yo, yo, like, that, that's not... The, is Jesus like, canon in one... The irony is no, funny because... Like, like, um, what's it called? What's it called? The... Uh, the Holy Grail, uh, whatever it's called, like that. The what's that oasis, like that everybody's looking for, bro? Uh, uh, it's religious. Uh, it's like it's like amazing. Like Adam and Eve were in it, then God kicked them out. Uh, the Garden of Eden. Yeah, Garden of Eden, mm. something like that. No, it's not actually that. No, I know you mean though. Like, like it's supposed to be like this, this perfect. Well, not perfect, but this 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 plentiful, resourceful place, and then. They fucked it all up by making a whole genocide out of here. Yeah. Silly humans. How does it, why did Kuma switch to Christianity when Sangha and Nika right there? Hey, man, that, that's that's honestly that's a good question, bro. Why does he walk around with a Bible? I mean, okay, to be fair, maybe they mean Bible in a literal sense, though. <laughs> you know what Bible means, right? No, what does it mean? Uh, what does... Because, you know, Bible's initials, right? It's yeah, initials? Yeah. Best instructions before leaving Earth. B I B L. I did not know that. What the heck? Damn. Yeah. Best instructions before leaving Earth. That's so insane. So hey, say what you want about Christianity, but they got some fire imagery, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's just uh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That that, that makes it scary. Cause like know, crosses like, are the hardest shit ever. Yeah. Ah. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't look like we missed anything. I feel like I feel like we did cover everything. Or basic information before leaving us. Whatever, whatever. But yeah. yeah. But um. But yeah, no. It, no, so I need, I need, I need a rat alert for the one time for the for the Shanks father. Rat alert, fire, fire, for the one I think, time. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think uh, Kuma's been like suicidal though because of that. Shit, I would be too, bro. Like, I mean, they took away his emotions and everything. Like, bro, like literally, look at the title of the chapter. Yo, yeah, the title is actually fucked, bro. Look at the a world a where, where you're better, better off dead. dead. I think I think it was buggy on the cover. I don't know why it's funny. <laughs> <laughs>
where he's just chasing his nose. Nah, but um, it's crazy thinking about it though. Like, oh my, and fuck, man, Celestial Drag. I guess it's showing how nasty Celestial Dragons really were. And I, f- I feel like God Valley made Celestial Dragons chill the fuck out. You think, yeah, you think after the the, the, the incident, they're like, hey, you know what? Let's just chill on our little, a little island, bro. We're not trying to mess with these dirty civilians anymore. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened, bro. Damn, Shanks, Shanks is really in the chat. Like, like the fact that Shanks is in the chest. I bet Roger thought that was like the best, like, like, like treasure they had because it was well protected or something, right? Maybe, <clears throat> maybe, 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 um, maybe this is what they were gearing up to do on Saba Odi that one. When they were bringing all the slaves there and the celestial dragons were all gathering, I feel it. I feel it. No, I feel it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely that. No, it's definitely that because this is Sabodi. Like, like, I don't know. It is like, like I said, I do think AKI and Sabodi like, like reversed, like flipped on his head, but it's something else also. Like, I don't know what it is, or it's something new, obviously. But it's like I don't know. It's it's giving vibes of something I feel like we've already seen before, or maybe it's not vibes something we've already seen, but it's like. Stuff that's built up that we've been expecting to see for a minute. But I digress. Anyways, it's like I don't know. I feel like I feel like you can tell how One Piece is moving by the anime and the movie. I think Yuta was previewing Shanks' backstory. Mm. You know what I mean? Sha be like Shanks, like cause you know Shanks probably found Shanks in a treasure chest. And like like Yuta was like seen as this like treasure. You know what I mean? Because of her powers, her singing powers, and etc. Didn't they also find her in the treasure chest too in the movie? Yeah, they found you. You in the treasure chest. Damn. Even though Yuta definitely is connected to the Celestial Dragons, I think it's that. I think it's insinuated. Yeah, because uh, she had like the the wings and the, like you know the angel god like imagery, right? Film red is really just spoilers. <laughs> yeah, because it literally it's not, it's not spoilers, man. <laughs> They oh literally God. said it. Shanks uh, has connections. Like, you told me I have connections to the Figurland family being associated with Shanks. That, <laughs> that's a crazy thing to say in a fucking yeah. movie, bro. That's a, that's the most craziest shit ever, bro. So they, they literally just spoiled Shanks being a Figurland, bro, in a fucking movie, man. Which is awesome. My personal opinion. I think that's cool as fuck. But, um, but, um, nah, it's, this is insane, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Like, damn, like I just got fuck you, Oda. I got not only really two weeks just to see Dragon. Cause I know Dragon's gonna be like, stop right there, you hoodlum. <laughs> and I'm like, hoodlum? I don't live, you fucking idiot. What do you want me to do? Oh, and Dragon, he, he's 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 gonna be like, Dad, if you don't stop him right now, I swear to God, I'm ripping this shit off, right. and I'm going and I'm going with him. You oh, got three seconds. You got three know. seconds to make a decision. Yo, yo, I thought I thought you said gripping this shit off, right? Yeah, I'm gripping. Hey yo. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh. but yeah, but yeah, no, this is this chapter is amazing. But it's more like while there is stuff to discuss, I feel like it's more like baseless, like which is nothing wrong with baseless. Uh predictions yeah and all, but it's like you you can like with one piece bro we can see yeah, that's what i love about it you can make a case for it almost anything yeah yeah like we can see you for five minutes and then we we will find a reasonable explanation why mihawk's gonna show up right <laughs> honestly bro i was thinking because we're saying like with all the big characters i'm thinking mihawk might be there i'm thinking smoker might be there bro Smoker's Smoker? not there. Look, look. Yo, we're, we're, we're stopping you in your tracks. Uh, look, look. <laughs> I know, I know. Welcome to Reach, welcome to Reach Peace episode. Welcome to Reach Peace episode 30. The only reason I'm saying Smoker might be there, I think he might also be another junior Marine, because what's the connection between Smoker and Dragon, bro? Bro, there's no connection. Smoker there is. No, there isn't. In in no. Low Town, when when freaking okay, remember when Luffy got saved, right? And then in Alabasta after, where he's like, oh, so that's why that guy saved you. Like, Smoker is thirty four. A guy who's old, he could be a freaking. God Valley he, was thirty eight years ago. He could be Dragon's apprentice assistant. Okay. You're actually Marine, fucking, you know, my boy. I don't know. <laughs> you're actually I don't know what kind of sick shit they're doing in the Marines. He could be mopping you're dragons. You're ignoring, it. you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it. You're ignoring it. God Valley happened 38 years ago. Smoker is 36. He was he was zero. He was negative two years old when God Valley. 38. Happened. Nah, no way. Smoker's that young. He's, He's 36. 36. 
Yes, he's 36. Yes, he's 36. Number one. And number two, listen, he's 36, number one. Number two, every Marine knows who Dragon is. No, but he like... Every no, no. They if you was any marine, no, no, no. okay. If you was any marine that captured a pirate and dragon appeared right in front of your face, you would be freaking the fuck out like you had a connection with that nigga. I don't know, bro. You know what? Read the piece, episode thirty-one. Jenny, that's crocodile, bro. <laughs> that, that's that's literally crocodile. That's how. That's why. Oh, he, that's no. how he created the crocodile. She that met Ivankov right, right here, and this that is, is that's how they developed the connection, bro. Crocodile's age, one piece. You know what's interesting? Oh, oh, 44. If I go for a minute. God Valley, I, like, this is a, this is our actual, like, first time seeing God Valley in, like, a good photo. Because yeah, I'm looking wow. at it, and there's a huge split in between the middle of the mountains. Mm, that's kind of me. You know who made that split? Mihawk. That's where he was training. Okay. Well, wait, I, I, wait Mihawk, Mihawk would be, like, five or seven around this time. Hey, man, world's yeah. strongest swordsman. He had to start somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he's 44, so 40. Yeah, yeah. So he would be a little baby at the moment right now. So if Miyok was here, he was a slave or a citizen, which is probably neither of the case. Miyok was definitely not here. Crocodile. Crocodile being here. I was Crocodile. Crocodile is 46. If Crocodile's here, he was either he's a slave, right? Or a citizen. But um But I'm going back to it though. This is insane right now. This is so insane. This is crazy. Like um, but I like I was saying, like we were probably coming up with some bullshit reason. No show came up with the lamest fucking reason why crocodiles there though. Like that was crocodile. That was reason. I mean not crocodile. Uh, that was a better reason. I meant, <laughs> I meant smoker, smoker, smoker. Bro, it's that bad. was reason. There's, that there's was, a that connection, bro. Smoker. There's no way he's thirty six, bro. He's too damn old to be thirty six. No, he's not. Smoker, smoker, smoker has no re- listen. Smoker is just a competent captain that became a rear. He recently became a rear admiral. If Smoker wasn't okay, Smoker comes in this series as a captain. Literally comes in as a captain. Luffy is indefinitely stronger than captains at Water Seven pre time skip. Captains are not that relevant in One Piece world. You know what I mean? Like they're not that relevant. Nah, he's a he's a vice admiral now. No, no, you no, he's a vice admiral now. But I'm saying pre One Piece, he became. Oh. He, he became, I mean, at pre, yeah, pre One Piece, he was a captain. Before one, the One Piece world even started, like in the anime specifically, mm. he was a captain. That's what I'm saying. So he he came in because let's look at people that came in his story. Smoker did not come into his story as a he, he did come in as a hard hitter, but in the grand scheme of things, no, he didn't. Yeah, Probably now he was weak as hell. Yeah, I mean, even though he's a vice, like even rear admirals are weird, but it's like they know. But the thing about like captains, like like commodores. Um, Navy admirals like they they have they care about shit that other people don't care about because they just have the information and access to them. So that's what I'm saying. Smoker probably just had the access to know who Dragon is. I think any Marine would need to know the access because he's the most wanted man in the world. That is true, but that's boring. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah well, why the fuck? Why the fuck was like why? Because Dragon wasn't even there for Smoker. Dragon was just like yeah, like Smoker was like, "What are you doing this for?" And Dragon's like, "Hee." Yeah, literally, yeah. he's like, gotta go. Yeah, that goes like, don't worry about it, gang. <laughs> you know, like, you'll understand no, soon. If Dragon actually, if Dragon actually said Smoker's name, that just shows Dragon actually gives a fuck about everybody type shit, though. But that could be just his ties to being a Marine, also, right? Yeah. But yeah, no, it's interesting. I don't know. It, it's a lot of stuff that's it. I, I think, I think, I think Ivankov definitely inspired the drums of, of liberation in, in Dragon. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I feel like Ivanka is the reason why Dragon went like, like, like the the way the way they're talking here, like it, it, it I can definitely see it because because she, she they're like, why do y'all look so sad? Um, I'm, I'm I'm about to live, are y'all? Right? Is that me? I'm out of here. I'm I'm gonna escape. You guys? I don't know. And I feel like I feel like, I feel like. I feel like I feel like I feel like you know I feel like this definitely this girl is definitely is Luffy's mom too. Because, bro, right, right when um, right when Ivanka said like like Luffy said I'm Dragon's son, and he said I'm from East Blue, Ivanka was like that's definitely Dragon's son. So like, and, and there was other reasons, right? Because Ivanka always saw a Dragon looking at East Blue. And he's like, yo, Dragon. You know, animals usually when they miss their home or something like they have an instinct, a way to look at 
a direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're always looking at East Blue. So, is there anybody you miss at East Blue? Is there any hometown? And Dragon's like, no. <laughs> and the mom goes like, I don't know, man. And now, I feel like, I feel like all the puzzles connect, especially that he loves, especially that Luffy loves meat. I feel, like, I feel like everything clicked way too easily for Ivanka, so that has definitely mm. got to be her mom right there, bro. <clears throat> no, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. That's got to that's gotta be her, his mom. The crocodile theory. She's, she's got to be important, bro. They gave her a literal name card, bro. They don't just do that for anybody. <laughs> and the crocodile theory Please. is now Please. done. The crocodile theory is now over, man. We won! Crocodile we beat it. We did it. We beat it. Um, Crocodile's not Luffy's mom. Mm. Do, do, do you think his mom is still alive or she definitely She definitely dead. Either that or or Dragon set her on a crazy mission or she's a slave to a celestial dragon. Watch Ginny die. And that's what I was thinking, bro. Yeah, she's she gonna die saving like Kuma or like Ivanko. And, and, and the dragon's like, I will always eat meat to come. <laughs> 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 and that's what Luffy eats to me. Because of the fucking... Because <laughs> of the ah! soul bond promise he made yeah, with like, the slave Ginny on God Valley. How the fuck did she even get me as a slave, bro? Great question. This has actually a lot of fucking food for a slave. Wait, eat, Reach Peace episode 32. This is Lucky Roo. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have Lucky Roo's age? Let me Google it. Lucky. How old is Lucky Roo? Lucky Rue's age, one piece. They actually do. That nigga 35. Damn. Damn. I got cooked. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's insane how they got everybody's age on one piece, bro. That's insane to me. Bro, bro how do they know, though? Um, SBS. Oh, they give, oh, they do give ages SBS. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, they, uh, do you they, think Oda actually, actually takes time to sit down and think about no, 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 how old no, no, people no. would be? Or do you think he just... SBSs and Vivri cards. Oh, yeah, true. Maybe. Oh, yeah, and data books. Oh, yeah, I mean, the Vivri cards are the, are the data books, but yeah. Knuckle, I need to get these... We need to get these data books, bro. We need, we need, a, we need to do a deep dive on these data books one day. A deep dive? Because the who own these data books have all the information on One Piece, bro. <laughs> The deep dive Vivi card showcase. <laughs> mm, you, got, you got anything else? Damn, it was like a non fucking narrative based ass discussion, bro. No, 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 no power scaling. No. Sweat. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no sweat scaling. <laughs> yeah, no sweat scaling, bro. No, no nothing. Like just, just, just talking about the plot. That's crazy. You know what's crazy? When this, when, when this chapter dropped, dropped, everybody was slandering Sanji, bro. Why, bro? Why? You got one shot by the girl, so. Okay, bro. They acted like Zoro wouldn't get the same. Yeah, man. Right? Okay, Zoro's like Mihawk level right now, so he's not touching us. Uh, <laughs> <All right, buddy. laughs> yeah. I think this is a good place to wrap it up. If you made it yeah. this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you it's enjoyed it, drop a like on it. And if you want to see more from us, consider subbing to the channel. Yeah, what? Shut up! We'll catch you if on you the next If you made it this one. far, drop in the comments, bring Afro D Samurai back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Comment, bring back Afro Samurai, bro. We're tired of Money, Money B. Luffy. Money, Money B. Luffy, the fraud, bro. Yo, He's a fraud. What do you mean? I'm not a fraud, bro. <laughs> You know why Fantano gave uh, uh, For the Dogs a five? Because he's scared of us. Oh my god, we're done. We're done. <laughs>